Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. I am here on the third day of CES 2018, joined by... Uh, Will from Pico Interactive. Uh, and this year, there's going to be a lot of standalone headsets that are going to be coming out, but Pico already have some standalone headset, and the Pico Goblin is probably the one that we should talk about. Yeah, so the Pico Goblin is a 3 off headset. Um, it is a great alternative to mobile VR. Um, it retails for $269 right now. It's on Amazon Prime as well as our website. Uh, it comes with one controller. It's a great uh, entry-level VR system, uh, great for viewing. Has the feedback been good? I mean, what about Christmas and New Year's? Have people been like, oh, yeah, we, we, this is good? Yeah, it was a great stocking stuffer. Um, we, uh, we did a little promo, um, and uh, it went really well for people who are new to VR. So how many units were sold, roughly? Oh, that we can't disclose. I'm uh, sorry. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> confidential stuff. Uh, but what is available on the Goblin? What can you see when you purchase one? Like, are there games that come exclusive to to the headset? Yes. So we have uh, exclusive content. Um, uh, we do our own uh, development as well from Pico Studios. Um, so there's a Dino Crash game that's really fun. Um, we have. Uh, Angel Falls uh, 360 video experience where you're going over a waterfall. Uh, so the content right now, we've got about 60 titles right now on the on the store, mm -hmm. but we are getting support from uh, Web VR, and uh, uh, the big news is HTC Vive port content of uh, 400 titles is coming to the Pico headsets. So if you've always wanted a Vive and you don't have enough money, exactly, the Goblin is maybe the way to go. Right? That might be the way to go. <laughs> And you also have a controller that comes with it as well, right? Yes, so we've got a 3 off controller as well, so there is a little bit of interactivity, yeah. Cool. And we also have the Neo headset, which is kind of like a step up uh, because it's a little bit more expensive, but you've got two different controllers with this, right? Right. So the Neo is uh, our premium headset. They're used to computer VR. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be able to get similar performance from this. So this here is the uh, Neo. This is a six-off headset. Uh, it's going to be the first uh, six-off head-in-hands headset, standalone, to come to the market. So uh, it's a very beautifully designed product uh, made from by uh, ex-PlayStation guys. Kind of similar design to the PSVR, uh, with these adjustable back straps here. It's got uh, the latest uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chip in it. Uh, 3K resolution, 90 hertz frame rate. Um, and it is a, a really powerful high-end premium device. It's going to uh, retail for $749. Uh, we're pre-ordering right now for business customers, and then we'll come to consumers late uh, spring. And that's also with the same controller you can use it with as well? So we have two controllers here. This is only one of them. Uh, we've got two controllers here. Um, this uh, controllers are, have uh, ultrasonic tracking. Uh, with inside-out tracking in the headset with these uh, dual cameras here. Uh, the uh, tracking is made by a company by uh, called Chirp. Uh, so we'll have two controllers, um, and then we'll also sell it with just, it's just want to use one controller um, for $549. What about the content on here? Is it roughly the same? It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be the same, yeah. Um, so we're going to open up to uh, web VR as well. Um, so for users who want to watch uh, like YouTube 360 videos or anything else uh, capable uh, from an internet browser, um, that'll be on this uh, headset as well. So you heard it, you've got two different standalone headsets that you can choose from, where you guys either got the Goblin or you got the Neo. But you guys also have something else which uh, isn't exactly virtual reality, right? No, not quite, uh, but it can be used for virtual reality development. Um, it's the uh, Pico Zens, which is a uh, time of flight uh, depth sensing camera module, um, which can be used to scan 3D objects into virtual environments if you want to easily develop things. Is, uh can also be uh, put on uh, um, like machines, like uh, cars to sense objects or drones. There's plenty of uses for it, so that's going to uh, uh, come out next month. It's uh, going to retail for $299. Okay, but there's two different ones, right? So right. there's a small one and a big one. What, right. are, what are the differences between the two in price? So uh, they're going to be $100 difference. Um, there's the uh, DCAM and then the DCAM 710. Uh, one, uh, it senses, uh, it can sense uh, heat and cold, as it's uh, based off of how far you are from the camera. And then another one uh, works outside as well. 
so the 710 is going to have more capabilities. Yeah, and it's a little bit bigger as well. It's a little bit bigger, <laughs> yeah. Um, and so it, it's a little bit strange because virtual reality uh, is everywhere with you guys, but then you, that, that is something completely different. How come you guys have decided to branch into that direction? So we, uh, you know, we, we basically try and figure out what, uh, whether it's developers or uh, businesses, consumers, what do they want? Um, so we are a pretty large company out of Beijing, 300 employees. Um, so we have access from end to end, whether it's through uh, factories there. Um, we just have a, a, a great access. Uh, so we can. We decided to build a suite of products. Because you can. Because we can. <laughs> well, is there a website that we could go to to find a more Sure. Uh, so it's uh, pico-interactive.com. Right, uh, so go over there if you want a standalone headset or if you want to uh, go into robotics and drones and you are a developer. And head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more information about what people are doing or immersive technologies. And I will see you there. See you there.